Christopher, tell our viewers what that number was from. It's from Typhoon Judy, mm -hmm. uh, a brand new uh, play with music that Darren Hagen and I uh, have co-written together, or co-created, I should say, together. And Darren's actually directing for me. He came down from Canada to do this. Uh, he directed me in Bitch Slap. Um, but uh, he also wrote Bitch Slap, I should say. But that number is uh, Judy Garland in a rehearsal hall in Hong Kong. And what ha what's happened is she's had a disastrous performance in Melbourne. Basically, the doctor got the medication wrong that, that uh, um, customs confiscated of hers. So she was very stoned on stage. So it was a really <laughs> bad performance and they booed her off the stage. And this is kind of like the next leg of her world tour in Hong Kong. Well, a typhoon hits, typhoon viola hits. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give it away. She tries to commit suicide. So this is actually, the show you see is all in her head. She's actually in a hospital dying right at the moment. And this whole performance where she arrives in an empty rehearsal hall where the band hasn't showed up, her arranger hasn't showed up, there's a strange man on stage behind the piano and she decides she's going to do a brand new show because the one in Melbourne flopped. So this is her rehearsing this brand new show with this very strange man that she has no idea who it is. And as the show progresses, she starts figuring out that, well, this isn't really a show, is it? This is something else. And it's whether or not she wants to die or not. I won't give the ending away. We're, okay, good. So, you know, <laughs> we know that she dies, but later on in life. So, you know, so, you know, so. You had to have had so much fun then playing this, Christopher. It's, a, it's an amazing challenge, you know, for mm -hmm. me to, to do Garland for two hours on stage, which is great. I, I, she comes so naturally to me at the same time, even though it's mm -hmm. a challenge vocally for me to sing. Um, I feel like I, I invade her skin easily. Mm -hmm. So when, when Darren and I were certainly co-creating it with the, a lot of the information that we were getting from her autobiographies and, and uh, or her biographies, I should say, her autobiography I actually found on disc that mm -hmm. she recorded. Uh, a lot of this is her actual voice. It's, it, we've written down what this woman actually said. Wow. So, and at the same time, in rehearsal, Darren has allowed me to kind of ad lib a bit so I could inject what I thought could be her sense of humor into stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's kind of a combination of Judy's real voice and my version of what I think Judy Garland would have been like. So, mm -hmm. so. Sounds fabulous. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was going to ask you, Christopher, how you prepare to be these females that you portray on stage. And it sounds like with Judy, you did a lot of research beforehand. A lot of research. I've been doing her for years. I've been doing her for, you know, almost 25 24 years now so so that part of performing came easy the research for the show I read five biographies we've watched all of her movies we watched PBS specials on her uh, we listened to the uh, CD Judy speaks which is her talking into a dictaphone I mean all of it and we sat down and we just went okay there's there's you know 10 hours here of a show what are we mm -hmm. gonna do here so mm -hmm. we just kept writing and kind of, kind of piecing it together and it really is this show is the story of her life so instead of talking about gossip and show business and stuff, it's really about her children, mm -hmm. about her husbands, about the way that they treated her, her husbands treated her, about the way the industry treated her. Mm -hmm. uh, she's at a point in her life where if she doesn't have this comeback, the career might be over. Mm -hmm. They just fired her from her CBS television series, which she had for two years. So, I mean, she's in a down period right at the mm -hmm. moment. This is not a happy show. Right. You know, this <laughs> no, is not happy, happy, like joy, it. joy. Even though it's funny, mm -hmm. uh, we always say it's funny because of situation, not because of comedy, mm -hmm. you know, of the situation that she's in. She's trying to make the best of a tough, of a tough time in her mm -hmm. life right at the moment. So It's a real show. It's a it's, real life. <laughs> it's a real life. It's for, for sure. It's mm -hmm. real life. You know, she she so. faces the struggles that many people also face. So. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. And, you know, I kind of said when we finished it and I started doing it, it's about a mother. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about a woman who really cared about her children. You know, and it's about a woman who tried to be a good wife. Mm -hmm. too. It was the husbands that were the mess, mm -hmm. not her, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, and she just wanted somebody to take care of her. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so. Uh, well, it sounds great. I mean, Christopher, you have me, you have me wanting to see this show. That's Excellent. for sure. And I can't wait to see how you portray her, which I know will be perfectly like you do with all of your female impersonators. And we're going to be speaking with Darren this morning. Was it great working with him? No, unfortunately, <laughs> I have to work with him. It's it's not fair. I would like somebody with some talent, <laughs> but unfortunately, no, no. It's it, he, Darren's amazing. We've known each other for thirty years. We met in nineteen eighty four uh, as as drag companions in Edmonton. At one point, I was there doing a ball, a drag ball, and he was the princess at the time. 
she's not quite a princess nowadays. She's more like the coach, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, amazing man, amazing mm -hmm. talent, amazing mm -hmm. man. One of the, and a dear friend too. That's the other thing. Mm -hmm. You don't get to call too many people in this business your friends. Right. You know, you work with them and then you go on. This is a man that I've known most of my life, and. I'm grateful that he's been in it, and I'm grateful that he's get, you know helped me with all these opportunities and given me the opportunities that he has. So great. Well, you two are a dynamic duo. I know it. You got it. <laughs> Thank you, Christopher, for being on this morning. Thank you, Jenna. <laughs> I'm going to be right back after these messages with his co-producer, co-writer, director of Typhoon Judy, Darren Hagen. Stay with me.